Today, five days of formal global climate treaty talks get underway in Barcelona, Spain. At stake there, whether any of the long-standing barriers to a new global climate treaty can be breached, or will all the toughest decisions remain for world leaders to face next month when they gather in Copenhagen? Our own executive editor, Margaret Ryan, is there in Barcelona with an update. In the Barcelona Convention Center, where this week delegates have the last opportunity to achieve formal compromises on a treaty to be signed in Copenhagen in December. We're expecting more than 4,000 delegates representing at least 180 countries, plus thousands of NGOs and media, all gathering here, meeting in this huge plenary session room or in other smaller meeting rooms around this sprawling convention center. Now, they'll be looking for any breakthrough they can find on five huge areas, carbon commitments from developed countries, mitigation commitments from the big emerging economies, stable and predictable financing, global governance, and technology transfer in order to get this treaty done. Now, the best news they've had in a long time came last Friday when European Union leaders agreed that the developing world would need on the order of 100 billion euros every year by 2020 in order to cope with climate change. That's $150 billion every year. Now, the EU did not say how much they would give of that amount, but they did say they'd give their fair share. There are indications that somewhere between a quarter and a half of that in public and private funding. So the big question this week is going to be U.S. reaction. And something on that is expected to come at the U.S.-EU summit. That's happening in Washington Tuesday and Wednesday. President Obama is a co-chair. We do know there's going to be an initiative for energy cooperation coming out of that, but there are an awful lot of other things on the agenda, including economic reforms and the Afghanistan war. But climate change is up there, and that's what they're going to be looking for here. So there's a full agenda here. We have thousands of delegates who really believe the fate of the planet is on the line here this week in Barcelona, and Clean Skies News will be here all week reporting it for you. I'm Margaret Ryan in Barcelona, Clean Skies News. Margaret, thank you very much.